Hello everybody, I'm more than worst, and this is another Crab's Treasure once again. In the last episode, we reached old Carcinia, down in the deepest reaches of the sea, the bleached city, it is known as. Everything's all white and made of styrofoam. Hey, there's Chitin, but before I go talking to you, shortcut, that's a real good shortcut to have. Vagabond! Chitin, how'd you make it down here? By following the call just like you. You seek the world as well, I assume. The divine weapon of the old ocean forged by ancient claws. How do you know so much about it already? And hold on, it's not a weapon, right? The old guy made it sound like, like some powerful magic doodad. I knew little before I came to this place, but I have learned much in little time. Knowledge untold wraps every wall and pillar of this place, if one cares to look. And make no mistake, Vagabond, an item of power and a weapon are one in the same. Our enemies do not so much as hesitate to turn power into violence, so neither must we. Well, I don't want to use it to hurt more people. I just want to, like, make things better. And I want my shell back. Listen to you, Vagabond, so far astray from your original goals. When will you seize control of your own runner? Will you ever? If we must, if we meet at the center of this maze with Whirl and Claw, I sincerely hope we may align on its use and meet as friends. Am I your friend? I see my point is lost on you. May we meet again soon, Vagabond. Wait, wait, do you know where we're going? Follow the call, little hermit. Let yourself be dragged by the spiral deep inside. You know how. It has been tugging on you all your life, after all. Well, she just floated up there. That is not much of an exit. Exit though it may be, you're just sitting there on that platform up in the air. Well, up in the water where in the ocean, not on the surface that us air breathers live in so all the time we do. And, alright, ay, 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 why am I down here? I shouldn't be down here, but down there I was. Now die, you pushy-offy person. You deserved to be pushed off like, you deserved to be killed like that. There. And now what's this gonna take me? Uh, get on the damn foam! Okay, and that one's our way back. Well, all right. This, I'm pretty sure, is an optional path that leads us to some treasures. Yes, indeed, and you are another car claw. God damn. I got more of those things than I'll ever need. Yep. But what have we here? We got more to explore on this urchin-strewn path we jump across. Bubble Poppy, launch me over, and from here we will bounce upon more bubbles. And up here, yeah, we got a place to rest our little feetsies, but we ain't resting for long, honey. We got places to go, and more obstacles to overcome. Take me away, you, you fucking shaving cream. And now... Come on, there you are. And a launch. And a bounce. And there's my platform. Ha <laughs> ha! We got more to grab over here. And there's a lot of crab husks on that platform here. Now, what we got? Please be a stainless relic. I really want some of those. Heart kelp sprout. That's also good. More heals when I need thems. But I'd also like to be able to kill things faster. That's what the heart kelp sprouts are for, and I'm pretty damn sure there's nothing else over on that platform. But whatever, we got what we wanted from over there. We're all good. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> anyway, really wish this thing could float a little faster. It's got a lot of ground to cover. 
There we go, that'll do. We've reached solid ground again. We got a thing, and this thing will take us over there. Ooh, there's another thing up there. I'm gonna have to get you, aren't I? I gotta come back up the stairs right around where I killed the fucking seahorse with the bubble wand. And there's another lobster down there, but those guys ain't too bad. It's a clothes claw. More money for me with which to buy things. That's some uh, yeah, camera for the love of fuck. This ain't the best place to be fighting a big old galloping lobster in. I can't see when that happens. And there you go. Anyway, fork in your brain. And that's the end of you. Did you drop anything? Nope, you're just spitting out crystals. He be spitting crystals, and you are up there doing shit that I don't appreciate. So let's fix that. Okay. That's just rude. Now it's time for you to die. Painfully. You shouldn't have pushed me down there. That was your biggest mistake that you'd ever made. Pushing me down there. This thing's wiggling a little. And that means there's a hermit crab inside of it. And look at that, you ain't got no shell no more. You shouldn't have been hiding in there. You little hermit crabby bastard. I know I'm a hermit crab too, but you're a realistic one and I can't tolerate that. There's only these cartoony hermit crabs like me. You snap your little jaws shut. Yeah, that's some bait for a trap if ever I've seen it. But unfortunately, your trap sucks. So how did a whole city get all the way down here? Well, back when I... I mean, that is the histories, I say. The king ruled with an iron claw, driving progress and industry forward, while a vast network of hermit sorcerers kept the ocean in balance. And they created that thingy, the, the perfect world? Just so. The ocean flourished during this time. By all accounts, it was pretty great. But the king grew distasteful of the hermit's power. He feared their dedication to nature would stunt his kingdom's growth. He seized the world from them and had their villages annihilated. From then on, the wisdom of the hermits was disregarded, and it wasn't long before the gunk took this city. Just as, where, just as it will take New Carcinia if something isn't done, I say. Y you're kidding! The whole city's gonna turn out like this? It seems likelier every day, I say. But it didn't have to be that way. I know it. There was a time, however brief, that society existed in harmony. If we could get if we could only get back there, back to the old ways. And I know it's possible. It has to be. I really hope you're right. Yeah. I don't much like the idea of the world ending. Well, it's it's going to end one day. It can't last forever. The sun's up there burning through its nitrogen or hydrogen or whatever the hell it's burning through. And eventually it's going to run out. And it's going to grow bigger and bigger and just swallow up the earth. And then... After that, well, there won't be no more earth. Human civilization may have long since ended before the world itself ends. Only time will tell. Maybe we'll become more advanced and stop blowing each other up and find life a way to live on other planets, but that would be the best for our civilization anyway, for humans to go on existing. If we can just pull our heads out of our collective asses, that would be great. All living creatures pray to me, you know. I doubt that. I don't usually pray to a weird, swirly purple thing. When they are about to be devoured. When the last of their blood is leaving their body. When they realize their death is certain. They do not form words. They do not ask for specifics. But they pray. They pray with their whole being. That somehow, against all logic, they will survive their ordeal. And I listen. I listen to every last one. 
But you never answer their prayers, do you? I am this ocean's only god. I do not care for your verbal prayers. Well, there you have it. God don't care about your prayers. If you want to get my attention, all you need to do is scream. Well, ain't you a bucket of joy? All you gotta do is scream and maybe I'll pay attention to you. You, sir, are kind of a downer. Anyway... Where... Oh, fucking... Grapply hook. And where does that put me? I don't see anywhere to be landing off of that. Hmm. Oh wait, I see, I see the way forward. We gotta take a left over here. And yeah, ride the shaving cream across. That's what we're doing here. And then we got you. This one's a hot knob instead of a cold one. And away we go. And, yep, that one's on a timer. And it just happened to yank down right at the worst possible time for me. I probably didn't even need to... Did you seriously respawn me in a place where I'm just infinitely falling? Da fuck! Well, I did notice... Yeah, here... I pull myself out through that but not sure okay yeah this is salvageable I can grapple back that way and then that'll put me within grabbing distance of another thing that'll make me get to where I'm there we go we can get back up here I thought I was just stuck infinitely falling until I died. But either way, we only need one of these things so we can get over here. And now that we are over here, you, sir, are in need of a slaying. You are very annoying with your movements. And I, yep, you broke my shit. Don't go breaking my shit. I can't see when this shit happens. There, I stabbed you inside the wall. All right. And, well, there's no point in grabbing that pill bottle now, the one I'm wearing. That's, uh... Wait. Viagra? Ha. I get that joke. They do a lot of puns with the brands and the shit that you go finding around in this game. I like it. I like parody. Used bandage. Nasty. Extra healing out of that. Though, I got all the healing I need out of my pill bottle if I can just keep it alive. Now just stop hiding inside your shell and yeah, whine on the ground you little bastard. You shouldn't have attacked me. I just came down here to get that used bandage. Why did you go swinging at me? You need to learn some manners if you want to survive. You quit being a dick and people will quit killing you. Okay? Okay. Good. And there we go. Hair claw mine. Now, how do I reach that crystal though? I, yeah, that ain't giving me enough height to get up there. I gotta jump down from above, and someone just dropped some fucking detergent on me. They're trying to clean me, and I'm not one who likes being cleaned. I'm a dirty boy. A dirty, dirty boy. You can't make me wash my pits. Suck on the fork, son. There you go. And you are just... Really annoying with the timing here. Anyway, okay, do a regular swing instead of a fucking charged attack like I told you to do. That's what I wanted! Tin can! Better than nothing. 
I have long since outgrown the use of tin cans. These things ain't quite as defendy as they used to be back in my younger days. And there's you swinging that thing. You can't go swinging your thing at me. Ow! Detergent! Which of you bastards is throwing the detergent? Somebody from that direction. There he is. He's on his detergent catapult. I ain't letting you get away with that. Now, how about some of this, honey? You just couldn't leave me the fuck alone. And I can't parry that, apparently. Or maybe I can and my timing was just off. Either way, okay, you are dead. And there, Carqua. Yummy, yummy, in my tummy, I'm gonna fucking eat that thing. Now, there was some shiny objects down here that I really wanted. Like this bastard right here. It's a cockle. Found me a cockle. And you have got to be kidding me. I got a fucking dentures on me now. How the hell did that happen? You, come on over here. Hey, no. You weren't supposed to drop down there. You had a shell that I wanted. God damn it. Anyway, this thing... This gives us a shortcut. That's nice. I always like having a good old fashioned shortcut on me. But what the fuck ever. And yep, there's this shell that I can't go taking because the dentures are stuck to me. I gotta take a hit before I can lose this thing. And there's, yeah, I can hear something around here. There's one of those shellless crabs, those pink fleshy guys running around. But where the fuck is he? Well, no matter. If he was important, he wouldn't be hiding inside of a wall or something. Now... From here... Where the fuck do I go? I don't think I went down here yet. Yeah, this is where you're hiding, you frantically breathing little bastard. Anyway, let me in there. Come over here and break this thing off my back. There we go. That's better. I don't have that stupid ass thing weighing me down anymore, and you're done making all that noise. So, yeah, there's one of those guys down there, and I need me a shell. This will do. It'll protect me, and I can just go on living my life, assuming I don't miss my mark like that. Anyway, you, sir, need to die. Don't you dare go slamming that on top of me. I don't, like, I don't much care for having my shells broken. Shells are made to not be broken. Anyway, have a mantis punch. And what have we in here? I can't fucking see. There we go. You are a whelk. Tiny little snail with a surprising affinity for umami. But that ain't the sort of thing I go using. Is that another pill bottle? All wedged up inside of there? Give me that. Always go for the pill bottles. Always! You cannot take away the power of my drugs. They keep me alive and well. And you, sir, are... You went and broke my drugs. Why you go doing that? You weren't supposed to break those. You were supposed to get yourself broken. But now... Well, whatever. Give me that damn husk. I need this more than you do. Because you are my enemy. And I can't have you living. Now get... There you go. That's just dandy. I would have been able to stab you in your belly if I wasn't stuck down there. But fuck you anyway. You're dead. It's all good. You're not alive. It's the way it should be. And I'm going over here, I guess. And you, sir. I've had enough of your shenanigans. Now get your ass killed. Just like your mother. You know you had it coming. 
And I know you're on that catapult. Okay, you're not on that catapult no more. That's bad. I didn't want to do that, but I did. Now hurry the fuck up and put me back on solid ground. There we go. Where'd this heart kelp come from? Did I accidentally drop that or something? Well, well, you're over there shooting your mm, shit again. Now, if you would come a little bit closer. Yeah, you. I wanna hook you and drag you into the depths. But, well, you didn't fall like I wanted you to. The other guy did, and I can really appreciate that. There you go. Now you're falling. Now you're getting it. You're doing what you need to do, and that makes me a happy young lad. Now just put the damn floss thingy away. No one needs their teeth is flossed. And no one needs you alive either for that matter, so stop living. There. Good boy. You died like you were supposed to instead of putting up a big nasty fight about it like some of the others did. And I do happen to see a thing over there that I cannot reach from here. I gotta fucking ride the fucking the shaving cream from that side to get over here. That was the intended way of doing it, but I did something stupidly! And it just so happened to work out well for me. But... whatever. It's... it's all good. It is doing things that it do and I am all out of time for this episode so thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope to see you again in the next one God. bye